Hey guys, Easy Tech over here. This week I'll show you the basics of the Inspire and some tips to help you along. Let's get right to it. On the computer I have the Inspire software. If you don't have it, I have the link down below. On the first section we have the home screen and the home screen is quite intuitive. We have the options we want to choose and uh, you can drag the touchpad and click on the center to choose or use the arrows and click on the center and you have A and B and 1 to 5. You can click on the calculator to choose any of the options A and B 1 to 5. For example calculate you have A and you are on the scratch pad which is our next section the scratch pad. The scratch pad it's a useful tool you'll come back to it a lot because you don't need to create a new document to use and calculate. For example, if you click on it, you go to the scratch pad. However, you can use the scratch pad button to access it, for example, here, and you are on the calculate section. You want to say, for example, one plus one. It's like one plus one equals two and hit enter uh, and you have the solution. To make graphics just alternate on the scratch pad button and here appears the graphic window. To enter or see functions you click on tab and to enter a function just for example square, uh, x squared. To enter a new function or edit the, this function just click again on tab and here you enter the new function or go up to edit the other function. Creating a new document. To create a new document you can click on new document or any of the icons for the options you want to choose down below. If you click on new document the options you have down below appear on top. Uh, the most important for now are calculator which is similar to the scratch pad, uh, graphics, which is also similar to the graphics section on the scratch pad, and notes, writing notes. To write notes, you create a new document and choose the option add notes. And to write, just use your calculator's keyboard. Um, for example, I want to write easy tech and um, this is quite painful because it's ABC layout but in the software you can use the um, keyboard as I'm using right now to write easy tech um, but it is important for example for math equations uh, to use some symbols so on top of some buttons you have the blue letters and the blue letters you just use the control to select the blue letters. For example, the option I want to choose is symbols, which is over here on the right side. And it appears a menu with the symbols. This is a bit uh, uneasy to go through, but uh, for example, I want to write raw here or pi. Uh, just click enter and you have pi over there. I want to be a pi. To save the document, you just click on Ctrl S as the normal computer or just go to X here and uh, do you want to save an unsaved document and you choose yes of course and you have the um, folders you want to you wanna save on. For example, I want to save on examples and I want to name it Easy Tech. and I save and it's easy as that. My documents. On my documents we have the folders and the programs and the, the files we saved. Um, for example here we have easy tech as we saved over here and um, we have another important folder which is mylib. In mylib we have all the functions 
and uh, programs we want to make public so we can use on our scratch pad for example settings on settings we have various options to choose from you can change language you can have the document settings altered and etc uh, on document settings which is very important you have the various options for example change the display digit number uh, just click to change we have um, uh, the angle uh, unit, for example, radians, we can choose in degrees. This is a bit tricky because if you choose a different one from what you're doing, it can be a wrong solution. Changing to degrees, we have to make it default to uh, alter it. The other settings are quite self-explanatory, um, making it default say OK. Document navigation. To navigate in your document you have some useful tips. Um, in my documents we'll choose the previous document we created, EasyTech. To create for example a new page in the document we just go to control and here on the right we have plus page. Just click on it and we have the various options we had uh, previously on creating a new document. Uh, for example, I want to calculate something in the meantime I'm doing some notes. I can do both on the same time. For example, I want to go back to the note file. I can click on it right here or on the keyboard I do Ctrl and left. It's easy. Uh, another way to see all the pages, if you have more pages, for example, you can go to control and, vi and view the page sorter here on top. Just click up and you have the page with the notes and the calculate page. You can choose by clicking on it and here we have it. Graphic show off. On graphic, we have some useful tools. Um, imagine that I, I want to add another function, uh, for example, x plus 5, so it intersects the other one, and I want to see its intersection. For example, um, we want to see on Windows Zoom, we can choose the Windows settings uh, over here. For example, uh, I want to intersect so the x minimum can be 0. Uh, the plus can be 10 and here can be 0 and uh, 10 okay yeah so we have the intersection however we can do it manually by using the zoom in and zoom out and wherever we click it zooms out from that point for example here it zooms out from there the point where the intersection is. Um, moving to how to calculate or to find where the both functions intersect. Well, just go to analyze graphic and we have a lot of functions and options to use. Um, they are all intuitive. We're going to use the intersection. So we choose the lower boundary and the upper boundary to find the point where the both functions intersect. Uh, we find it and uh, it's shown with the black dot over here and uh, we have the coordinates for the point. Some useful tips and shortcuts. Okay, on the menu you have this third option called recent. You in here you have the recent files, for example, we have easy tech file or document and we can click on it and it shows up. Um, some shortcuts that work on uh, Windows and uh, on your computer, uh, for example, you want to copy it. You can go control C exactly like a computer and uh, place it below, for example, and control V and it's copied and pasted.
Um, you can also go Control X to cut and Control S to save, etc. Going back to the scratch pad right over here, uh, we can make, uh, for example, a trigonometric function, uh, cosine. I go to trig here, I click the button, and I have the functions uh, for sine, cosine, tangent, etc. I can go to cosine and uh, I'm on degrees over here and uh, make it 90 degrees to go zero. Now I want to know the pi value. Just go to this button and go here and pi. And I have the pi. So if I hit control enter, I'll get pi on the right as I'm going to do it pi right here however if I go again pi I can go to control enter and round the value to uh, so I can see more or less which the value is I don't want to write pi again or I don't want to copy it I can go to control answer and if I hit enter it shows up again um, Imagine you want to um, multiply pi by 3 after knowing its value. You can go to control, answer, and multiply it by 3. Now, let's say I want to store the pi's value multiplied by 3. I can go to answer to get the pi by 3 value. And I want to control, store it over here uh, on uh, pi 3 for example pi 3 and I get the pi multiplied by 3 uh, stored on the pi 3 valuable and to access to these values or to these variables I can go to variable and have pi 3 and I have the functions and I have another another variable for example g which is the acceleration of gravity let's hit enter and I have 9.8 to the acceleration of the gravity another useful thing it's uh, imagine that you want to do a fraction uh, here for example pi 3 for some reason uh, divided by the just select by the acceleration of the gravity g and it enter it gives you the value this is quite easy uh, and some of the things you just need to explore to go back to the menu just go on here and then to change the screen brightness imagine that I'm outside messing with my calculator <laughs> control and plus to upper the brightness and control minus to lower the brightness and to shut your calculator off you can go to control and off any comments or suggestions leave them down below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and to see more videos, subscribe. See you next week.